Hey guys, um, so this is going to be super short. Uh, this is one of my bags for um, the swap that Darla G is hosting for Valentine's. So the swap itself um, was is for Valentine's. However, she did say, you know, it's not meant to be Valent. Well, it can be Valentine's Day themed, but it doesn't have to be. It's more just um, a token of, you know, a happy Valentine's Day from you to your swap partners and uh, I got three partners in the swap because we had a, a not so great number of um, people who signed up from Canada so regardless I just wanted to do a quick rundown of my altered bag so this bag is actually a bag that I made myself from um, some heavy duty craft paper like the industrial craft paper um the bag itself is about 11 and a half inches tall by about seven and a half or eight inches wide depending on which bag it is because each bag is slightly different since they are each made by me um the well all the bags are altered the same way so i'm just gonna go over one of them and then i'll show you the rest of them you know like side by side so i use a recollections paper for the background of the bag and even though the bag itself is craft I like the way it looks so with the craft bag so it's just <clears throat> it is a craft paper craft pattern paper by recollections on the front and as well on the back and each bag has a different paper but it's from the same like paper pack um, and then what I did was I used some Maya Rose rosette trim around the edges and then I added this here um, filigree it actually this is actually a piece of it the other piece is on the bottom behind the other flower but we'll get there in a second so in the top here I um, put a handmade uh, rose along with two I think wild orchid craft flowers maybe I'm not sure um, and then at the bottom left hand corner I use that same filigree and then I use this handmade flower that was made for me that I received in a swap and then I put some skeleton leaves behind it in a pink and a gold color to go with the craft and the pink for you know Valentine's Day and then in the back I used three doilies um, one white and two pink for you know some background design or background texture and then what I did is in the middle, I used another piece of the um, pattern paper from the same recollections collection to house three stick pins that I made for um, each lady. So I, I just essentially made a pocket and I used, I stuck foam down inside of it. So that way the stick pins had somewhere to stick into without moving around. And um, yeah, and then... Oh, at the, I glued the sides shut, like these sides here, the gussets, because they were really, um, it was really sticking out because of what I put inside of it, which I mean, it's not a bad thing, but I just didn't like the way it looked. And then I used a little, one of the Tim Holtz hangers at the top in order to keep the top of the bag shut. Um, and because the back is just pattern paper, all I did was just add my label or my whatever my info to the back of the bottom or the bottom of the back of the bag and uh, yeah so that is essentially the way I did each bag and so that's the first bag this is the second bag and then you can see the difference in the pattern paper and everything is on pretty much the same and oh yeah and also the flowers are each different handmade flowers in the bottom left hand corner but pretty much everything else is the same that one and then this is the last one so yeah I mean you know it, it I actually really like making these bags and because of the type of paper that I had I um, was able to make them and still have leftovers from the scraps to make little miniature bags so that's kind of cool too and while I have you guys here, I'm just going to share in another thing that I'm mailing off shortly. And this is actually a um, an ATC 
for um, a swap that I'm in. And the theme of the swap is to use buttons. I know it's already packaged because I wasn't actually going to record these, but since they're here, I figured why not. And so basically what I did was that same recollections paper, which I really love. I don't know, like they don't often come up with um, papers that I really like, but this one I do. So I used the recollections paper in the background and then I used a piece of burlap on top of that. And then I used two buttons, one in the top left hand corner and one in the bottom right hand corner. And on top of those, I put some flat back like flower um, pearl type things. Uh, on top of the buttons and then I used some metal filigree corners for the bottom left hand corner and the top right hand corner and there's also a metal filigree flower in the background here as well on top of that I made a bow out of seam binding and I put a prima flower on top of that so everything here has been like I kind of kept it tone on tone and this is probably one of my first tone on tone projects I guess and I'm kind of I'm, I'm really liking the way it came out so and then this the back is just a plain brown that I added to the back of the ATC so there's that as well all right you guys thanks so much for dropping by hopefully you guys liked my projects and are slightly inspired if not majorly inspired and I will see you guys again soon all right take care guys happy crafting bye